Hello guys and welcome back to another reaction video on my channel. Another day, another Mad Rose reaction. So, last time, or well, second to last time, because we had a gaming memes reaction from Vars in between. I think it was the video before that. We had um, Twitter, people from Twitter saying two things at the same time. That was really cool. That was a really funny one. Now, he has multiple ones, like I mentioned before. And this time, I want to look at um, the Reddit side of things, I guess. Um, this video is titled Reddit trying to say two things at the same time. It's basically the Reddit version. Uh, one second, my camera. Okay, I think, I think now the tracking is better. Um, as always, the original video is in the description below help him get to that one million and i don't think i'm forgetting something right now well in case i'm just gonna say it afterwards assuming i can remember it if there was something i wanted to say all right um enough talking let's get going recently stumbled upon this thread is there a subreddit for people trying to say two different things at the same time like this and a link pleasingly to my twitter trying to say two things at the same time vid Ooh, self plug in his own video no but i might create one george is the best would then go what a, what a chad george is truly a chad not just to just to create a subreddit just for that. Create one. But thankfully, we do have this one post we can work our way through. At school assembly, the cute girl from class asked if she could sit next to me. Ooh. Ooh. That is already a situation that puts you under a lot of pressure. Just from right, right from the get-go. Okay. Let's see how it's going to go. Trying to figure out the coolest option between feel free and be my guest. I... Oh. They came up with feel my guest. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Wait, let me reposition my microphone. I think I'm a bit too far away. Followed by half an hour staring blankly into the distance. I oh. Oh my god, that is so much pain to be honest i thought he was gonna say not guest but like breast or something which maybe arguably would be worse or better i'm not sure but this is like that is so pure pain like the like how do you recover from that That's like such a, such an awkward exchange. It's just going to be stuck to the back of your mind for like forever. Came up with feel my guest followed by half an hour staring blankly into the distance. I once bumped into Poor someone guy. and I tried to say it's cool and are you okay? Ended up just yelling, are you cool in this poor lady's face? <laughs> That's not, not quite as bad as in the last one, where he just screamed at him, are you fucking sorry? Um, but it's still, poor lady, man, the poor and lady. I into someone in the hallway, I tried to say, pardon me, and excuse me, okay. at the same time, and actually ended up saying, PONY! In a job interview, I Where's the me part? You completely skipped over that, what? I told my potential future employer about my hobbies and tried to. Told your future, your potential future employer about your hobbies. Like, that's always such a trap. You gotta. You can't go too out of pocket with that. Follow with nothing but the best, or there's nothing. Oh, okay. I can already tell something crazy is gonna happen. Better. And I just said. Butter. I was working at a. <laughs> what? You know, Mister Future Employer. 
Dota is just, it just happens to be my passion. Everything in my life revolves around butter. Yeah, I have a, I have a slight feeling that that job interview did not go quite as well. Just, just a little uh, idea. Unless he was applying to work like something, like somewhere in a milk factory, or someone where you just, somewhere you just happen to produce butter. But if it wasn't there, then you probably did not make a great impression. Photo studio. In my early 20s, I tried to make a joke to break the ice with a new client before taking her portrait. Okay. My brain said, hello, I'm your photographer. I'm going to shoot you, but I won't kill you. Why did you want to... Like, why did you want to say that sentence to begin with? I'm going to shoot you, but I won't kill you. That's a very selective sense of humor that I would not pull with everyone. But okay, so well, let's see. My mouth said, hello, I'm your photographer, and I am going to kill you. Okay, one second. Let me get out of the way. Because I think I found my thumbnail for today. Bro. I never even attempted to make that joke again. I was yeah, good idea. Because you, you shouldn't have even made that from the get go, in my opinion. Of saying, thank you so much. And thank you to the bus driver. I ended up saying thanks, Sue. I don't remember the context, but <laughs> I was trying to ask if my mum had an agenda. But I also thought of the word vendetta for some reason. And it came out as, Mum, do you have a vagenda? I. <laughs> Like with this stuff, I always try to imagine the viewpoint from the other person. Like, what was the mom thinking in this situation? Like, are you okay, bro? What do you mean, what do I have? What? Deliver pizzas. My brain tried to say, have a great night and have a good day at the same time. And it somehow okay. came out, have, have a gay day, v -boy. A what? A what? Right, and have a good day at the same time. And it somehow came out. <laughs> have a gay day, V. I work. You know, maybe he appreciated it. I don't know. Maybe that's the kind of stuff the guy's into. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. In a shoe store, and when people enter the store, I usually say, Hi, how are you doing? And then follow up with, What are you looking for today? But once I looked a customer in the eyes and said, What are you doing? And then just smiled while still making eye contact. So I just... That's low key kind of creepy, to be honest. Say Shaquille O'Neal and Shaq at the same time and said Shaq took a while to break while approaching a red light. My friend in the back seat tried to say watch out and oh shit, but ended up saying whooshy whooshy whooshy. What the fuck? Uh... Yeah, me too. I always go whooshy whooshy whooshy. When I'm hanging out with my friends. Bruh. I was trying to say, taste my Nerf gun, and I'm going to shoot you. And I ended up saying, it's taste my shoot. I'm a semi- Yeah. Yeah. I'm shoot you, and I ended up saying, it's taste my shoot. Ew. Wait. Now you can see it. Ew. I'm a semi bilingual Canadian. I will greet people. Wait, what's a semi, semi bilingual? Let me look that up. Uh... 
What is a semi bilingual? Uh, combines the features of a monolingual and a ah, uh, that's from the for the for the dictionary. Semi bilingual. Well, maybe I'm just dumb as hell and don't see the obvious one, but I can't find it right now. Maybe you guys know what it means. But like, bilingual is if you can to speak two languages, right? Semi bilingual is what? If you can speak one language and the other one somewhat? I'm really not sure. Maybe you guys know what it means. I I I don't know. With a hello, how's it going? And sometimes with a bonjour, ça va? And sometimes bonjour. In high school, a friend of mine was telling me a story that sounded It'd be exaggerated. Worse. I was trying to say that's hogwash, but my brain decided last second to say that's flimflam. Oh, sounds so fucking weird. What? Just flung. And I said it really loudly, like practically yelled it at him before he was even finished telling his story. Quick bit of maths for you. That's my jam, plus that's the shiz. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I can imagine what's gonna happen. Was what? Yeah, yeah. That's my jizz! Okay, not, not, not... Not quite what I thought. I thought he was going to say, that's my shit. That's probably worse, to be honest. Said right in front of the fam yesterday. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Could perhaps be quite possibly the worst time to say something like that. Like imagine someone pointing it like dish X Y Z. Oh, that looks good. I want to give it a try, and you just scream that shit at them. Or they ask for the secret. <laughs> or they ask for the secret ingredient. You know what makes it taste so good, and you just. Um, yeah, I don't know how to recover from that. Like in front of random people, okay, could be worse, but you're probably not going to see those people ever again. But in front of your family, oh. Oh. After Thanksgiving dinner, spanked you, I, lawyer, said to my client at the end of a call, I was wanting to say both speak soon and thank you. They totally oh. noticed. Oh. Oh. Nude day. Nice plus good equals nude, apparently. You know what? Maybe they were planning on having one in the first place. Or they were considering having one and now you just reaffirmed their decision. All in all, could be worse. Could be worse. Love you, bitch. Babe dear, introducing my neighbor. Yeah. He was raced bikes. Guys, actually, he was raced bikes. To read. Introduced him as Rodney, the racist. Racist. So <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, the racist. Now that's a line I would not put in my resume or on my LinkedIn profile or quite frankly anywhere. You know what? Maybe you should put that as, as your as a Twitter name. Just just to see the reaction. <laughs> Bro, my name is Rodney the Racist. What the fuck? That's not just a brain fart, that's... 
considering who you're talking to and in what neighborhood you're living, that could be a bit of a dangerous statement to make. Cyclist, I constantly mix up mainly and mostly in sentences and go, what? Okay. I mean, I think... Like, in... Not, not, not just particularly in English, but also in English. Like, English has, like, um, many words or phrases that mean very similar things. And if you're a foreigner, you can get confused by that as well. Like, Germany, uh, German has the same thing. Like, many words or phrases that essentially may mean the same thing or very similar. And if you're, like, learning this language for the first time, that can be super confusing. We get that. Mostly, fuck, monly, fuck, mostly. Ah, clip of my friend a bit of an issue trying to say, shut the fuck up. Will you f fuck, shut, we fuck off the shut, fuck, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I call my wife a butt mole. I was gonna call him a butthole and a butt munch. I tried to say clearly and literally at the same time to a female co worker at a school oh, no, oh, no. meeting, and it came out clitorally. Oh no! No. I decided if I wanted Skittles or M and M, so I ended up asking for S and M. And what did you get back, bro? Come on, come on! Don't, don't, don't leave me hanging. Imagine you walk just into the store like that, bro. I would like to have two bags of S and M, please. I think the cashier would be mentally done for the day as well. At deer camp with my friend and his dad. Combined the words deer and buck to ask my friend's dad, Did you skin your dick yet? Worked at a restaurant. Oh. Oh no. Where they insisted we say, oh, my pleasure, in response to thank you. A couple weeks into working there, and I'm still adjusting to the switch. A customer said a oh, thank you, and I started in with a, you're welcome. But it came out, you are my pleasure. I said hi to a cashier at McDonald's. But what? Wait, 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 what? Um, you know, I'm German, but I still don't ha really have those urges to just scream that out. That is, oh my God. Like depending on where you, in what country you said that, that could be a fucking nuke there. What the? And going to say hi and then mid sentence changing my mind and saying hello trying to say nice shot and nice hit at the same time crazy my grandpa while we were golfing i said nice shit i mean uh you know i'll say good shit nice shit isn't far off yeah but i was like seven so i got in trouble i was buying a muffin from the lunch lady and almost called her grandma i caught myself and uh, was going to apologize by saying end me it just shows that i was in Wait, you apologized by saying end me. Like normally that's what you say on a Monday morning, I would think, but what? Embarrassed, it all heaped together into her handing me a muffin and me saying end me, grandma. You made it worse, bro. You fucking made it worse. Post here showing how these accidental portmanteaus can still be a good thing. A friend of mine wanted to say to another friend that he was being so sensitive and emotional, but instead said, you are so sensational. And also, and finally, uh, an example of a worse. post where they make just no sense at all. My sister works at Dairy Queen, and while she was working okay. drive through once, instead of saying, welcome to Dairy Queen, she... All right. What did she say? Hmm. I'm trying to think of what you could uh, say. But I'm not sure if I want to say it out loud, because if it's wrong, I'm going to sound like a fucking weirdo. She said, you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> what? 
okay okay i can i can honestly say that is not that is not what it was was going on in my head and i'm glad i didn't point it out bro can you imagine the confusion the fucking confusion <laughs> they're driving into the drive-in And they just really will with you watching Disney Channel. Bro, what? Like, I would just think that they're not working, but they're watching something and forgot to turn off the mic. That must have been a very, very awkward exchange afterwards. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Bunch of funny ones in there, but I think personally, I like the, the last one, the Twitter one more. Um, if you have suggestions for another video, let me know in the comments. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. I think if I recall correctly, there's like one more left, which is like this, the second part for the Twitter ones. I'm going to react to that as well. And I think that's going to be quite, quite funny as well. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a nice Monday. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.